The city of Lugano can be found in the Italian-speaking part of Switzerland. When I was 12 years old, I was taken there by family members who lived in Milan. I fell in love with the location as soon as I saw it. On that trip, we drove to Lugano, but as an adult, I've always arrived by train, and this is the view that greets you once you exit the train station. The bell tower that you can see close to the station belongs to the Cathedral of San Lorenzo. It's a 16th century church, but there's been a church on this site since the 1st century. Once you've had a look at the church, you can continue down the hill. I hope that scooter guy's got good brakes. Once you get down to the bottom, you can find this iconic butcher's shop. There are laneways weaving around the lakeside, and this one is where you can find all your high-end stores. The laneways open up to a large square. This year, it was set up for the summer music festival concerts. It's a little tourist train that takes you for a trip by the lakeshore. It's a quick way of seeing the area and it saves a lot of walking. My favourite part of the city is Chani Park. The villa and the gardens were donated to the city of Lugano by the Chani brothers. The gates by the lake are the scene of many an Instagram photo and there's a swimming area in the far distance that you can see. This year I went on the lake for the very first time. It's a ferry that crosses Lake Lugano visiting different towns. Either you can take, take it to a specific town, or like I did, spend the whole time on the boat. It took two and a half hours for the round trip back to Lugano. Beautiful seeing the mountains coming down to the lake. And as it was still fairly early in the morning, you also got the mist coming up off the water. The most picturesque little town that we stopped at was Morcote, also where most people got off the boat. There are restaurants along the waterfront and the iconic churches and the cemetery higher up. back into Lugano you can see the little church of Santa Maria dei Angeli. The church was consecrated in 1515. Next to it you can just see an old funicula. It's no longer in use and so people have to use the stairs. For many years I would tramp up the hill to the train station. Now I happily pay my fare and ride the funicular. I managed to get right up the front as so I could clearly see the cables and the pulleys that operate the funicular. The cables are permanently attached to the trains. One train goes up and the other goes down and they cross each other as a counterbalance.
old train station building was restored a few years back and there's a newer section also attached. If you like my videos, please consider liking and subscribing so you can continue travelling this big wide world through my videos.